hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is pure crochets and today we are creating this beautiful dress it's a vintage dress and this is how the back looks i promise you it's a very easy tutorial this is the close-up of how the dress looks kindly subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up comment and share with your friends this tutorial all right so let's start doing the work okay in this project you'll need a tape measure a dani needle stitch markers a pair of scissors a couple of hooks and the hook sizes is 4.5 mm hook and a 4.0 mm hook so this is a 4.5 and this is a 4.0 mm hook we'll need a couple of yarns i'm using two different shades white and gray both are 50 grams and cotton yarn so we will start by making the bra cups and for the bra cups we are using a 4.0 mm hook so this is how we start by making a slip knot like this and then you're gonna chain to chain take your underbust to nipple measurement and chain as long as your underbust to nipple measure measurement is i'm size 34 and i'm chaining 15 15 chains is from my underbust to nipple measurement all right so this is how my work looks once you're done with your 15 chains kindly chain two more chains to make it 18 then you will skip the two chains that you've just added go to the third chain and do a double crochet like this okay let's begin because something wrong has happened here you skip the two chains go to the third chain make a double crochet like this and we are creating double crochets across all the chains that you have i will meet you at the end of this row please note we are only creating double crochets in each stitch I am at the end of my work and this is how my row one looks like to begin the next row chain two one two turn your work around yarn over skip this first stitch that holds chain two start working from the next stitch and we are doing a row of double crochets again all right so do a row of double crochets i'll meet you at the top of our work so that we start doing our increases So we are at the top of our work here and please there's always a stitch at the top here yarn over and go to this top part here and make a double crochet it's a bit hidden so it's quite hard to miss it but there's a stitch here as you can see so we are doing a double crochet and we are doing an increase here so after your first double crochet we yarn over go in the same same stitch and do a second double crochet like this chain one all right chain one yarn over go in the same same space do a third double crochet and a fourth double crochet in the same space like this so you have two double crochets chain one and two double crochets that's our first increase once you're done with that just go to this other side and continue doing normal double crochets until the end of your 
work i'm hoping this is clear so we are going to be working like this we will be increasing at the tip of our work until your bra cup perfectly fits your bust so i will meet you at the end of this row so this is one of my bra cups i made it off camera i just want to show you then we continue the pattern it looks like this as you can see it's increasing at the top and it goes all the way until it fits me so i am mixing colors that is white and gray and now it's time to switch to color white so let's do that so to switch to color white just cut off your yarn like this and we are gonna take our white yarn and begin from here it's not necessarily you switch colors you can decide to stay with one color but i like playing around with colors that's why i'm switching so this is how we switch over our work just continue with your work like this you bring in the new yarn like this so we always chain two to begin a new row so use the new yarn to chain two then you just pull it like this and that's how easy we will do our yarn changing then we are continuing double crochets until the top of our work where we increase i will meet you at the top of our work to do the increases again so i'm at the tip of my work and on the top here remember we are always doing an increase so go on the top of your work like this with a double crochet and go in the same same space with a second double crochet chain one go in the same space with the third double crochet and a fourth double crochet in the same space like that all right once you're done come to this other side of your work and just do normal double crochets without increasing we're only increasing at the top of our work so yarn over go in this stitch here and make a double crochet and we are going to make double crochets until the bottom remember the bottom you chain to turn your work to begin a new row and this is how you are going to work until your bra cup perfectly fits you all right so i'll meet you once you're done with this bra cup and please note you need to have two identical bra cups okay we have our two identical bra cups and they must be of the same size all right 
so they should look like this kindly make sure your bracha perfectly fits your bust area and this is how my bracha length is i mean with this is 5.5 wide and it is six inches long 5.5 wide and six inches long so that's how much uh, i worked with the brackups and now please do not cut off your yarn once you finish working with the brackup because we have to do edging at the bottom here so chain one go in the same sorry chain two so chain two and we are doing a row of single crochets at the bottom here go in each stitch and do one single crochet at the bottom here like this and i will meet you at the end of this row we are just doing a row of single crochets like this So I am at the end of the work and this is how your work should look alright. As you can see now it's becoming neat so chain 3 chains like this and we want to join our second up. Please note this second up we did not do the edging at the end yet. After you finish doing your ups until the end you just cut off the yarn and then you're going to join at the end here like this at the last stitch here. And you're joining using a slip knot like that then you chain one okay and now we are going to do a row of single crochets at the bottom of this brack up two like this i'm hoping you understand this right so do a row of single crochets in each stitch like this i will meet you at the end of your work I am at the end of my work and at the end here kindly we need to do more chains so once you finish joining continue with a row of chains like this and this row of chains should perfectly fit you under your bust area all right so do single crochets on this side join the second block up using a slip stitch continue with single crochets on the end then do more chains all the way until your work perfectly fits your under bust all right so take a tape measure and measure your work if this perfectly fits your under bust area then you're good to go all right i'm hoping this is clear so let's take measurements of my work so this goes all the way to 13 13 by 2 that makes it 26 this doesn't fit me yet so because i wanted to reach to 30 but i don't want my work to overstretch so much you know don't make your work so fitting because if we overstretch this it fits to 30 but i want to add more chains so i don't want my work to be so so tight on me i want it to be comfortable on me instead so let's join it at the end here and then we will measure again to see if this fits perfectly so this is how we just temporarily join it here using a slip stitch oopsie <laughs> sorry so using a slip stitch just join it here temporarily first <laughs> so let's try again remember we are going at the end of the stitch like this the first stitch here chain one Please do not cut off your yarn first before measuring. So let's double check our work because I want my work to perfectly fit me without being so tight. You understand? So I want it to get to 15. So you can see now it's if you stretch it a little bit, it goes to 16. And I want it to get to 15. 15 by 2 is 30. So this work will fit me perfectly. So once you are 
okay with that join your work well then at the end here you just chain one cut off your yarn like this fasten your work well to avoid your work running and then we're gonna find the middle of these chains here find the middle of the chains and then put a stitch marker like this this is the middle part of my work so count all the chains then divide by two that will be your middle part double check your work again by measuring to make sure this is the middle of your work and to make sure your work will be perfectly fine all right so once you have that in check we are still using a 4.0 mm hook please keep that in mind now we are joining our work here where our stitch marker is and we are joining using a slip knot like this and then we'll just go ahead and do a row of single crochets before we do that chain three remove your stitch markers and then yarn over and go through all the chains with a row of double crochet so just chain three yarn over go in the next stitch like this and make a double crochet and we will be working double crochets across all the chains and under the brackets i will meet you at the end here remember it's just a row of double crochets I am at the end of my work and at, end, at the end of your work go on top of chain three and join your work using a slip stitch like this then chain three to begin a new row turn your work around okay yarn over skip this first stitch start working from the second stitch and this next row is only a row of double crochets all through again and i'll meet you at the end of this row okay we are done with our double crochets and this is how our work looks and now we want to begin on the v stitch pattern which is now the body of our work all right so at the end here close up your work using a slip stitch and we are going to change our work first our hook to a 4.5 so change your hook attach your work using a slip knot at the end here and remember we are changing our hook to a 4.5 mm hook okay so after you have attached your work chain three one two three kindly note we are not turning our work go in the same same space as chain three and do a double crochet inside the same space like this okay and that is our first v stitch the chain three acts as a stitch so yarn over skip the next three stitches one two 
so we skip the two stitches on the third stitch do a double crochet like this chain one yarn over go in the same same space and do a second double crochet that is how we create v stitches so yarn over skip two stitches on the third stitch go in with a double crochet again chain one yarn over go in the same same space with a second double crochet yarn over skip three stitches on the third two stitches on the third stitch one two on the third stitch go in with a double crochet like that let's start that again go in with a double crochet chain one <laughs> this is quite stubborn <laughs> chain one and then in the same same space we do another double crochet so this is how we are going to work all round and i'll meet you at the end of your work remember we're just skipping two go in the third with the double crochet chain one go in the same space with another double crochet and then we will meet at the end here okay we are at the end here we have three stitches left so we'll just keep all the three stitches go on the fourth stitch and do a v stitch go in the last double crochet do a double crochet like this chain one go in the same space and do a second double crochet that's how we make a v stitch all right so this is how your work should look like and remember at the end here we always have to join go on top of chain three join your work using a slip stitch please make sure it's on top of chain three so go on top here and join using a slip stitch like this my stitches are a bit hard but it's okay then go in the next double crochet which is this and also join using a slip stitch so we are doing two slip stitches at the end here immediately after this second slip stitch chain three and now we start working on our v stitches so remember chain three always acts as a stitch yarn over go in this first space here after chain three there's this space here so we will yarn over first oopsie forgot to yarn over so yarn over go in this space here and make a double crochet so this creates our first v stitch and now everything is easier so yarn over and now we are going to work in this chain one spaces in between the two double crochets you just enter here with the double crochet like that chain one and again do a next double crochet in the same space go in the next space do a double crochet chain one again in the same space do a second double crochet as you can see now it's easier to work on the v stitches okay yarn over go in the next space which is this one remember we are going in the chain one spaces chain one and do another double crochet so work like that all round i will meet you at the end of this row at the end of my work and remember at the end here you go on top of chain three and do a slip stitch like this please make sure it's always on top of chain three and you are joining using a slip stitch like this and then also go in the next double crochet and do a slip stitch after the chain three go in this double crochet do a slip stitch like this and then you chain three to begin a new row all right this is how your work should look like so chain three one two 
three yarn over remember chain three always acts as a stitch so you're gonna yarn over and now do our pattern which is now a v stitch yarn over go in this space here and make a double crochet to complete this v stitch So this is how we are going to work we are going on top of these stitches making these stitches and we're going to work like this until your work perfectly fits you all the way to your uh, stomach area once you get your stomach area we will start doing increases so that our work fits our hips measurements and all the way down but as for now we are just doing normal v stitches all around i will meet you once your work is uh, long enough to reach your stomach area or if you have a bigger stomach you'll need to do increases for your work to fit perfectly but um this is the pattern and i'm sure it will fit you well not unless you have a smaller bust area and a bigger stomach so you'll need to increase your work to fit your stomach area but i will show you how to increase your work just keep watching as for now me i'm continuing with the same same pattern which is just uh, v stitches all round until my work reaches my lower stomach area then i will do increases for my work to fit my hips measurements and please remember we are still switching our colors and it's the same same way to switch our colors um we are switching from gray to white and you switch your colors when you're at the chain three so chain three should always be the place where you add the new color all right i'm hoping this is clear so just work the same same way we have been working until your work reaches your lower stomach and i will meet you to show you how we do the increases So this is how far I have worked and this is more like 4 inches. Please go to the sides of your work and put your stitch markers. I realized my work is shrinking so it's gonna be tight on my stomach area. So I want to increase even on my stomach area. So it's not so tight. I want a very very comfortable dress. So this is only how much I worked and this is more like 4 inches and I also want to change my hook to 5.0 to make my stitches more wider. Alright, so let's do this. As you can see, this is only 4.5 inches and this reaches on my upper stomach. Okay, now we start doing the increases. Reattach your hook. And now remember we are using a 5.0 mm hook and i also want to change my yarn and remember to change the yarn we always start here on chain three so insert your new yarn here just after the slip stitch <laughs> sorry after the slip stitch insert your new yarn and chain three using your new yarn then just pull your work like this all these loose yarn you will chain them in once you finish your work and then we begin with the pattern so just go in this next stitch with a double crochet then we begin the pattern which is the v stitch do a v stitch on top of a v stitch and I will meet you once we are on our first stitch marker to do our first increase. So please note, I started increasing my work from my upper stomach area all the way to my hips area. Okay.
we are on the first stitch marker so kindly remove the stitch marker and we want to do our first increase and this is how we do increases go in the v-stitch with the v-stitch which is the first double crochet chain one and then the second double crochet so to do an increase we're just going to repeat the same thing you yarn over go in the same same space with the third double crochet chain one and another double crochet that is our first increase but you are going to put three of them so yarn over go in the same same space put a double crochet chain one and another double crochet so this is how we will be doing our increases right take back your stitch marker and put it in the middle stitch like this so make sure it's in the middle stitch this is one two and this is the third please make sure it's in the second stitch here so we will only be increasing on the stitch markers only and the rest of the areas we will be doing normal v stitches so i will meet you in the next stitch marker And in the next stitch marker please remove your stitch marker and we are doing an increase again which is three v stitches in one space this is the first double crochet chain one enter again with the next double crochet that is the first v stitch do the next v stitch which is a double crochet chain one and another double crochet and then do the third v stitch in the same space which is a double crochet chain one and another double crochet so this is how we do the increases and take your stitch marker put it on the middle stitch again and then we continue with the pattern which is v stitches all the way to the end and please note we'll be increasing on alternative rows so this row we have done an increase the next row no increase next row no increase the third row increase so increase on row one two ro two next rows no increase third row increase as you can see now we are this this is the next row and we are doing no increase at all okay no increase at all we are increasing after every uh two rows so row one increase row two no increase row three no increase row four increase you understand so that's how we are going to increase our work until it's wide enough to fit our hips measurements once it fits our hips measurements we will stop increasing okay so i will meet you when we are at the end i'm hoping this is clear and we are going to work like this until your work fits you to your hips measurements please not increase after every two stitches okay Okay, this is how your work should look like as you can see it's increasing on the sides that means it will perfectly fit your hips measurements as you go okay i'm hoping you are increasing the same same way so please note once your work reaches your hips measurements you do not need to increase no more and just give your work a little stretch a very little stretch to fit your hips measurements then after your work fits your hips measurements do not do no more increases my hips measurement is 41 and you can see my work increases all the way to 
22 22 by 2 is 42 so that means it will fit me perfectly and as per now we are not doing any more increases we are just doing the v stitches all the way around until where i want my work to reach so remove your stitch markers and now we're just doing v stitches all the way round until where you want your work to reach then we can put a little slit at the end if you want to or you can just finish up your work like that okay so this is how far i worked and my work is 23 inches long and i would like to put a little uh, slit at the bottom here this is how long my work is from the back area all the way to the end is 23 inches so now i would love to put a slit at the end here and you can see where we were doing the increases it's curvaceous that means it will fit us perfectly fine remember we always sew in all this loose yarn hanging around after you are done with your work so it's not necessarily for you to put the slit but i would love to put a slit just to give it a nicer look okay remember you can always leave your work here or if you want your work to be more longer go all the way to your foot area or if you want it shorter depending on what you want you can make it long short it's the same same pattern so we want to insert our slit area and this is where i want to mark the end of my work so cut off the yarn here and we're going to join our work somewhere else where we will start working on the slit area as you can see on the first pictures my slit area is on the side i've put my stitch marker where i want my slit to begin if you want it on the side or on the front of your thigh just put your stitch marker where you want your slit to be so i want to my slit to begin here or i think i can move it a little bit more on the left yep so i want to move my slit on the other side a little bit but i think it's too much on the middle so i'll move it here and then we will start working on that and we will change our yarn to the shade of gray so using a slip make a slip knot like this and then reattach your yarn at the stitch marker here remove the stitch marker and then reattach your yarn like this with a slip stitch then chain three go ahead and remove the stitch marker first then chain three one two three and remember we are only making v stitches on top of v stitches so Make a v-stitch all round and I'll meet you again when we are here at the chain 3. So we are at the end here and at the end here I want to do my last v-stitch here so go in with the v-stitch okay once we complete this v-stitch at the end here we are not joining our work because we want to make the slit so chain three and then we will turn our work around all right this is how we create a slit you don't join your work so chain three turn your work around and we are working these stitches all the way again so just yarn over go in this next stitch with a double crochet 
yarn over then now we are working v stitches on top of v stitches all the way so this is how we will be working until where you want your work to reach if you want your slit to go all the way to the bottom of your feet is okay i just wanted a short slit to just give it a lift to my work and this is how we will work until where you want your work to reach and then after you're done with your slit area please go ahead and attach your um your straps it's very simple i'm hoping you all know to attach your straps we have been doing this for a long time so if not kindly check one of my videos i have how i'm attaching my straps then stitch in all after you've stitched in all the ends cut off all the loose yarn hanging around then that's it this is how my work turned out to be i love it so so much i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as you can see i fixed the um neck adjustments and this is how my work is kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i will meet you in the next yeah. video comment on what you think okay. how is this tutorial any clarifications you need just send them on the comment section see you soon goodbye